What's up? I'm Troubleshoot in the super quick solution guide. If you're trying to play Battlefield 6, be it the open beta or the full release, or even Battlefield 5 or 1 with the newish Javelin anti cheat, if you see this error saying something about close auto hotkey first, here is how you fix it. First of all, if you are actually using auto hotkey for anything, pull up your start bar at the very bottom and locate the small green H. Usually, though some scripts can have a custom icon. Right click the auto hotkey script and choose exit. This can either appear in your tray at the very bottom down here, or you'll need to expand using the arrow to check these icons up here. If you haven't explicitly used an auto hotkey script, you may have still downloaded one at some stage. Usually it's to automate mouse or keyboard activities or add certain actions upon pressing mouse or keyboard buttons. This may sound very confusing, but I received this question on my Techno account switcher about auto hotkey, asking if it was my program causing the issue. Basically, they found a piece of software they had installed called AHK Mic Mute, where whenever they press a certain hotkey, it mutes or unmutes their mic. While this doesn't appear like an auto hotkey program or script, it's made an auto hotkey, or at least has something to do with it, so it's being detected and you need to exit it. This can be very confusing as anything that's running on your PC could be causing issues. Pulling up an EA forums post over here from a couple days ago, they mentioned closing a random process. Scrolling down, Logitech G Hub could be causing issues if you have any scripts loaded, or a scuff controller being plugged in, or I assume the software running. Jack's core, if it's running, close that. Things like that. Even drop top a rain meter plugin or extension, I guess. It's incredibly confusing to figure out what's causing the issue. So I'd recommend the simplest solution is to just hit start and shut down your PC. Start it up and then don't open anything except for Steam, EA or the Xbox app or wherever you have Battlefield 6 installed and then click play for Battlefield. If it opens up fine, then something that was running was causing the issue. If it happened to work, simply open up Discord and whatever else you might be doing, a few applications at a time, seeing once in a while if you can still launch Battlefield. Eventually, one of the programs that you open could be causing the issue. Otherwise, if you've just freshly rebooted your PC and it's still not working, open up your task manager using Control Shift and Escape will systematically go through every program in here that isn't a Windows type of process that you don't recognize the name of, will right click it and choose end task. For example, any desk, Brave as in the Brave browser, any third party programs that you know you've installed or at least could be running. Even certain motherboard or keyboard and mouse software could be triggering the issue. You'll just need to go through everything one at a time, closing them as you see fit. Obviously, you'll be avoiding things that you don't recognize for the most part. If it sounds Windowsy, it probably is. It's most likely a program that you've installed that's causing the issue. So close every program that you recognize, except for obviously Steam, EA or the Xbox app, as well as Battlefield itself. Once you've closed a couple of programs, see if you can launch it. If it works, then you've found the program causing an issue. And when you do, make sure to comment down below to help other people find exactly what could be causing the issue. I'll try and maintain a pinned comment with some info about a list of programs that could be causing the issue, and hopefully that should help more people. It's a very annoying issue, and obviously the anti-cheat wants to be as non-descriptive as possible so that you can't really find a way around it to further hide your cheats. But obviously, 99% of us aren't actually cheating, and it's just going after innocent, unsuspecting software. It's a very difficult and annoying place to be, but I do wish you luck. Anyways, hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.